What do you think of GE versus LG air conditioners? LG air conditioners tend to lose their refrigerant, assuming it was put in the unit at all by the factory. No refrigerant means no air conditioning. Then the AC is just a glorified fan. It is worse than a fan, because it uses a whole lot more energy for as little or less effect. What else should I know about LG air conditioners? They are noisy, have loose parts and their units are prone to failure even if they have refrigerant. I think all ACs are noisy. There's noisy, and then there is having to sleep in a room other than the bedroom you put the window AC in because it is too loud to sleep. That defeats the purpose of putting a window AC in a bedroom to cool it down. And some of their ACs shut down because the motor overheats. Then it has to cool off for half an hour before you can start it back up again. What do you think of GE air conditioners? GE air conditioners are a little more expensive than LG ACs. You don't get much better performance, though. I could get one of their cheaper ACs. Be careful with that. A smaller AC with fewer tons of British thermal unit won't cool down a room effectively or you'll use twice as much electricity for the same cooling effect because it runs all the time. What do you think of them overall? They aren't as bad as LG air conditioners. However, if they break, it will be cheaper to replace it than buy a new one because of all the costly repair man visits it will take. GE has decent repair techs. Their engineers didn't do a good job with the cycle versus continuous fan switch. The AC just doesn't work in the cycle position. So I leave it in continuous mode. And run up your AC bill. But at least I have a cooler house, which it sounds like I won't get with an LG AC.